example is Copernicus, who is famous for proving that the Earth moves round the Sun, even though there were other people who had already formulated this, but you know, Columbus discovered America, that's the same syndrome here, which in the 16th century was going against the Christian belief that everything revolved around the stationary Earth, and that could very conveniently lead to death at the gallows. Copernicus could have never been able to formulate his model without the book on planetary motion by Ptolemy or more precisely the Latin translation of the Muslim astronomer Ibn Shatir's commentary and correction of Ptolemy. This point was proven by Austrian mathematician and historian of science Otto Neugebauer in 1957 that the lunar model that Copernicus used in his groundbreaking book De Revolutionibus that started the scientific revolution was exactly the same as Muslim astronomer Ibn Shatir and Nasruddin Tusi's planetary models written some 200 years back. Add to this the discovery of German scientist and polymath Willy Hartner in 1975 that even the diagrams are same detail by detail, down to their alphabetical designations, where Tusi uses Aleph, Copernicus uses A, where Tusi uses Ba, Copernicus uses B, and so on.